Right then, here's a concert program from back in the day, 1989, if I, if my memory serves me right. The Dogs the Moor, saw these in Cardiff, Cardiff University. And I was absolutely obsessed by this band back then, I, I really was. Went up, there you are. The Dogs the Moor. It was the drink, see. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, uh, September. Blah blah blah. What's the date then? Um, yeah, yeah, you go. The length of October. Cardiff University. I was there. If you go down here, look, we're in Japan. Anyway, I was there with with an, an ex girlfriend at the time. And I'm telling you one thing. I could have copped off with this gorgeous. Chick there, she was just standing there gawking at me, and then she wasn't even watching the band. That was cool, <laughs> anyway. Um, this is quite a good program actually because it's got all your it's got all the imports, it's got all the discographies from Japan, and you see, it's all in Japanese. This is all the discs and the history of the band. I don't remember how much it was. Probably about three or four quid. I mean, programs weren't the exorbitant prices they were today. And they had a little feature on different members of the band, obviously. I'm surprised I still got this. I mean, well, I've been, to, you know, it's been a long and bumpy ride, this life of mine, and I am truly amazed how things survived. Look, the Jack Daniels inspired 80s days when everyone wanted to drink Jack Daniels. See, like it shows the family life and you know, bathing and stuff. The madness, the upside downness, the, the drinking. I'm not sure who that is. She's pretty hot. Is she one of the members of the band's wives or what? Who knows? I mean, she must be. She looks like kind of a rock chick, but she doesn't, does she? Anyway, I would. So it's good. Um, in fact, I think this is about five verses. As, as, as I say, it's 1989. This is... Uh, Bam Bam, the drummer. He was really cool. He was totally pissed. Jumping in the crowd, you see his scars and shit in his body. Cool dude. I wonder where these guys are doing now. And look at this, this is a nice touch. A little cartoon strip of the dogs the more when they were in, is it Japan or somewhere anyway. And this was all drawn by the singer, Tyler. It's nicely done, isn't it? Well, I thought it was, anyway. All right, pet. <laughs> you lot should be locked away. Yeah, this is pretty tidy. It's, uh... Yeah, yeah, you go. The Dogs the Moor discography. It's got the How Come It Never Rains, the the, the, the kid from Kensington, Satellite Kid, Trailer Tears in the Diamond Saloon, Graveyard of Empty Bottles, brilliant. I used to have every one of these albums, but... Uh, so many albums I uh, got lost when I was shifting houses and things and they all, you know, some really rare shit got lost or, you know, could have even been stolen. But, uh, yeah, I, I had most of these. I mean, I still got some of them, of course I got that still and you know, the albums, but I, I had some of the, the, the rare singles and EP. Backstage look with all the groupies. And look at this, this is before the days of the internet. The Dogs the War fan club. You could write to them, you could phone them. That was it though, there was no, you know, look. Where's the email address? None. Where's the website? Nowhere to be seen. Ah, I long for those days, you know. And, and I particularly like this, this is the last page, and it just shows them on a high, a low. <laughs> Whatever you want to think. It's good, isn't it? It's a nice little program. 
adverts for the other bands which were on record label because these weren't on the tour with them. Um, who was supported them? Was it Burning Tree? Yes, it was Burning Tree. So there we are, the Dogs de Mort, Cardiff University. Nice.